today's Thursday. It's the last day that I have on LND days. Next week is my last week and I'm going to LND nights. So, um, I think today there's a schedule C section, but I'm not too sure about that. And then hopefully whoever comes in for triage, will see them. Hi guys, so I'm currently driving. Um, there's, I'm sitting in a lot of traffic because it's 6.40 ish and it is rush hour time. Today was my last day in LND days. I truly love the team that I was working with. So I will probably explain it more in a video about my ob rotation. But just in general, every week we rotate between different sections of OB. And this particular week I was with two residents that I really, really liked and they really let me like see a lot and also one of them was like a new intern so she let me um, do a lot of physical exams and like walked me through the process of differentials and things like that which I thought was really nice because I've never really had that exposure up until this week and then also the other two students that I was with I've been with them for the last five weeks and we've just grown so close and we've become I would say great friends because we number one we look out for each other so if there's something happening and like the other person has never gone to see that we'll let each other go hi guys so it's currently what time is it I think it's four 55 it is so dark i'm telling you it's this whole um daylight saving the daylight saving thing that america does for some reason it's just so dark now and it's so sad but i'm going to the hospital now today's my first day of my last week and i am back on night shifts i got some christmas gifts for some of my friends today and i've been trying to like look online for things that I might want to get them just because I don't have time to continue going out to stores and whatnot to find things but I bought two things for my friend this morning and then I bought something for myself and I bought a lot of things for myself which I really need to self-control because this isn't the time to be spending money on myself I should be you know um, trying to find gifts for other people but every time I try to do that it just backfires and I end up buying things for myself hi guys so today is the last day of my um, rotation. I have my overnight tonight, but I um, met up with a friend at lunch. We got Chipotle and then I went to go see the Wakanda Forever movie on my own. Just, you know, a self, self date. Like, honestly, I like spending time on my own just because I get to do whatever I want in my own time and I'm not like waiting on someone else. The movie made me cry, literally. It was it was really long. I think it was two hours and 40 minutes, but it was really good. So 10 out of 10, highly recommend if you guys have never seen that one. If you haven't seen the first one either, just watch that one first and then go see this one in the theater. I came out and like wanted to use the bathroom, but the line is so long. So I'm gonna go to the hospital early and eat my dinner, read up a little bit um, before I head into my last day at this rotation. Oh, the craziest thing just happened. Patient walks into triage, fully dilated, and I had to run into the OR to get the chief resident because she was in a C-section. And also my friend, that we've been working with for three weeks brought in cupcakes for us because it was our last day how cute hi guys good morning today is monday the 21st i don't i don't know the day anymore honestly like all the days just blend in together but today is the first day of my third rotation i'm starting psychiatry which is not something that i've ever seen myself going into but who knows like it could change by the time this rotation is done. So I got here earlier than I was expected to and that's good because number one traffic but also it's just better to be earlier on your first day. I'm supposed to find the security department and then get my badge and access 
to this hospital. Hi guys, so I just got home. Um, right now I'm trying to log my patients that I saw today. And then also I was listening to a podcast on my way home because my drive now to the hospital is a lot longer than my previous rotations. So this place is about like 35 to 40 minutes away without traffic. Um, imagining with traffic, I'm literally dreading the day that that comes but for now i didn't run into traffic today so i've been looking up the mnemonics that they were talking about especially in the podcast and the one that i remember is siggy caps which is for depression and it's like the nine symptoms that you want to look out for and in terms of mdd you want to get five out of the nine symptoms for at least two weeks i think the only other different thing about this rotation place is that they gave me keys and I was very confused when I initially got the email saying that I was going to go to security and I'm going to get my badge access and my keys. I was like, what am I getting keys for? Because I've never gotten keys in any of the other places. It was just strange to me. So I asked the security person and he just said that it's just like a safety mechanism if the badges don't work but then also if um like a patient tries to leave the hospital then you have a secondary thing that you can use so that they don't leave um which i thought was very smart after i log my patients i think i'm going to do a quick workout shower and then start reading up on some of the psych topics that are more prevalent for admissions which is where i am this week hi guys so i just finished my third shift <laughs> um and today we only saw one patient only one patient came in which i'm glad yesterday i saw like nine patients because we have a weekly minimum of 10 so i still met the weekly minimum but it was just crazy that we sat there all day and there was no patient today um but tomorrow's thanksgiving so it's gonna be exciting we're gonna feast happy thanksgiving to you and your family and i hope you guys all enjoy the holidays hi guys so today is november 28th and um t this week is my first week in adult psychiatry so now i'm up on the floor with the patients that are basically living there for a short period of time what i did today was write a couple of notes for some of the patients that the doctor and I went to go see. I put in everything for HPI in terms of how I saw their behavior to be, their mood and affect, um, their thought process and thought content. A lot of this is visual because you're seeing how they're speaking to you, acting, and you're trying to categorize like where they fall in the spectrum of average to not. The doctor said that we did a pretty good job today. There's like me and another student. So um, we can only improve from here, but it's exciting because I got home and um, Black Friday was a couple of days ago. Today is Cyber Monday, but I basically told myself that I cannot buy any more things because I don't have any more money to spend. One thing just came today for the completion of Tiffany's gift, so I'm going to do some wrapping. I wanted to show you a boot that I bought for Black Friday on for myself because I have a black booty right now. I needed some new ones just because the base or like this part of the heel literally fell off and I had to glue it back on and so I decided it was time to get a new booty and these were really comfortable they're from aerosols and I like them because the back is like this crocodile print and then there's this chain in the back as well for some detailing and then most of all the boots are pointed so for my graduation this year I believe I wore my kitten heels that were pointed and I really like the way that they looked when they elongated my legs and so I decided to go for a pointed booty because I thought that they would look really nice and then this is what they look like from the sides my sister really likes the fact that the heel is like wider at the bottom and I really like just how they look in general I think it's very professional so happy with this purchase
I'm hoping to get this vlog out before Christmas, which is why I will not show you what I got. So I got two things for Tiffany and hopefully that they're right, they are the right things. The current rotation that I am on right now is psychiatry and I don't know if I've ever been interested in psychiatry. I never saw myself going into it. Um, and the field is, it's a little scary for me just because I don't know how to react and act around patients that are not mentally stable. I think it's also very hard as a student because you don't know how far you can go before you trigger the patient. And you know, like you have no harm or or like ill intent, but sometimes you just don't know. Today I saw a patient that had a history of bipolar disease um, and the symptoms that she was kind of presenting with were paranoia, definitely just because she thinks that people are stalking her. And then also, she also thought that her mom might have been poisoning her, things like that. And I think she was able to have a conversation with us and be present in the moment, but she was definitely distracted. So it was hard to get a comprehensive, full interview. Good morning, guys. Today is November 30th. It's like a very different day for me today, although I'm going to the hospital. We're actually going to court for one of the patients, um, which I have not seen yet. Good morning, guys. So today is Friday. It is um, the last day that I have to go in this week. And I realized I never explained like what was the court case that I went to. However, I'm not able to just because number one, HIPAA, and also it is about like a legal situation. So I don't know if I'm able to talk about it in detail, but I'll just tell you that it's it was a discrepancy between what the family wanted for the patient and also what the hospital wanted. So the doctor that I was working with had to go to court to testify and, um, that's essentially why me and the other student that I'm working with is was there because we were with the doctor and we just follow wherever he goes. It was interesting to see and I actually didn't know that that's something that would be like your job when you're in psychiatry. So I was a little shocked. Hi guys. Um, today I got to round on patients on my own because the attending physician was running a little late. So me and the student, we went to um, talk to our patients by ourselves and we were able to kind of build a rapport. Of course, they knew who we were because we're with the doctors every day. They recognize us. But usually if we're with the doctor, we don't say anything because he just he hits all the points that he needs for the notes. Um, so today... We were able to go talk to them ourselves, ask them like how they're feeling, any side effects from the meds that they're taking, um, and just see like how they're progressing in their treatment. I was a lot in my head about it. I was very like intimidated by the idea of going out onto the floor on my own and talking to the patients, but through doing it today, I realized that it's not as scary as it seems. And the other student that I was with, she said to me that like, I'm so good with talking to them, but I don't know. It's just like, I kind of just see them as like a human being and I just want to listen to their story and why they're here, even if that is not the true case, you know? Like I want to know why the patient thinks they're here compared to why their family had brought them in, for example, or if they were brought in from another emergency room. So it's just interesting to hear like the different sides and Tomorrow, I think the plan is for me to sit in one of their like group meetings. And this is solely just to see how the psychiatric hospital works in terms of um, therapy for their patients. Because other than that, I'm mostly in the physician's office. And after I write my note, that's about it. So I think getting to sit on the floor and do more outside of the office is um, the next step for me. Good morning, guys. Um, I was scrolling on TikTok today and I came across this TikTok that had like a free coat for a Dunkin' coffee. So I'm going to pick it up right now. I was just trying it on the app and it actually worked. I don't know what it's for. 
um i think it was like wallows x duncan or something like that um whoever wallows is or whatever that is thanks for the free coffee today hi guys so i was about to fall asleep um but i was also editing my video there's like this funny story that i want to tell you guys from today because i walked in and i was going to like the doctor's office and then i was holding a cup of duncan coffee like the one that i told you guys about that i picked up and then this patient walks out of her room and she says to me as she's like passing much she's like i'm gonna smack you silly with you holding your coffee there like that and then she just like kept walking and she was rambling to herself and like for a split second i was just like what just happened but she meant no harm and I don't know, it's just funny. And it's kind of like something I wanna remember when I'm re-watching these vlogs. So that's why I'm telling you guys this story. But I think right now I'm going to either watch some Vlogmas or some Netflix. So we'll see what happens. Today is my last day in adult psychiatry. And I, I think next week we're starting something called partial program, which I'm not really sure like where I'm supposed to go yet, so I have to email um, Dr. Blessing Adult. So I got my Crocs package, which I kind of explained like why I got the clogs in the first place. But yeah, also the doctor that I was with, he like, he was just like, oh, like, why don't I just buy you guys lunch today since your last day here? Which was really nice. Anyway. So I got my dad a pair of Crocs because he really wanted them. Daddy wanted black, but I got him granite or graphite or something like that. Graphite. This one. I'm gonna try the one. Ta-da. <laughs> this is what they look like. Goodbye, we're walking to CVS now. Say hello. What are you getting? Put it against your head. Okay, let's go. 